as I grow up in my generation, we got a lot of people who just say they're Aboriginal, who say they're Murray, say they're Coorys, and they don't know what that identity means. They don't know that it's a ceremony. They don't know when we come together and we practice our religion, our law, that that thing isn't a fire anymore, it is a tool. It is a part of our communication, our being, how we sit down with our mob. The proposal um, that Adrian is putting on the table is to clean the site up completely and to but still have uh, still have the, the emphasis or, or the fire. Yeah, yeah. Keep the fire at the beginning, when we first discussed it, we talked about um, how, how we can the fire. Um, and at the beginning, we just talked about having a return of flame or something. So we need to, you know, that's what part of how we maintain the fire. Every other race that comes here to this country are allowed to practice their religion. This is the last challenge for our people. If we are true warriors and we are true people brought to this country, we should stand strong in our religion. We should stand strong in our belief. We should stand strong in our country. And we should defend it with every last breath we have. That broke my soul, you know. Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to take someone's cultural identity their connection back to their history. Their history is not written down on paper, but it's a part of it's a part of our blueprint. Who we are. Their politics aside, we'll keep that protocol of respect in memory of all our ancestors. My people, like if we're protesting, we're not protesting. We're practicing, practicing our culture. That was practicing our culture that was given to us from. Thousands and thousands and thousands, thousands and thousands. I can go on and on to say thousands of years, you know, and the practice is still taking, taking place today.